If you're a systems integrator, you should probably be using 3D printing within your normal workflow and not just for prototyping. Now, here's the thing. A lot of people don't realize the scale that 3D printing has and the value that it can have within a company. A lot of engineering companies, systems integrators, these guys are the guys who build the grippers for a robot that's going into assembly line. They're the ones building the conveyors. They're putting together all these machines and making them all talk together. These guys do the electronics. They do the machining. They do the architecture. They do the install. They are renaissance renaissance men of making stuff and they're fantastic companies to work at, but they're not leveraging printing to the level that they could or maybe even should. A lot of them use them for prototyping where they'll make out a demo of the part and then they'll go get it machined. The large part of this is because these guys are so used to having everything in house that they don't realize the capabilities that 3D printing now has. For example, these guys live on McMaster Car and Mitsumi where they can get custom made pieces delivered and made to them. Very often budget isn't very important, but these can be cases where there's just a huge amount of waste that could be turning into profit if they used printing. And it gives a lot more long-term benefits to their end users. So let's do a case here. Someone's building a conveyor system. This conveyor system has to be put together with 2020 extrusion. They are designing a custom bracket that is gonna hold this together somehow. Maybe it's some corner bracket that mounts up a camera someplace, whatever it may be. They need to make a couple hundred of these. They would normally design this out and then figure out some way of machining it and they'd order a couple hundred of them and each one of those pieces would be 100 or 200 bucks a pop. It's very expensive, but they could make it with printing. The reason they don't is because they have the printer inside the shop and they look at it and they say, oh, it takes 10 hours to print the part. We don't have time for that. But if they were to take that part and outsource it to a large print farm like us, they could get those 200 pieces and almost get a 10X reduction over machining. But then you have one additional benefit. Once they have that CAD model and they deliver this system to the client where they have this conveyor moving potatoes around or whatever it may be, that part is now available and part of a catalog of spare parts that they can give to the client. So when the client says, oh, that part just broke, that camera fell off, they can just say, oh, let's pull up the catalog file and have them knock out another one. And they can do that immediately and take advantage of all of our supply infrastructure so that they can give their customers peace of mind long-term because there is a workflow by which spare parts can be made, replacement parts can be made, ongoing production can be done. And if they create that conveyor system and now they want to make 10 more of them, they're not restricted by the scale and limitations of traditional machining or injection molding. These guys also are able to benefit from the faster lead times. If you're cutting a mold, especially for a reasonably complex part, you can be waiting somewhere between four and 10 weeks for the parts to start showing up. With printing, you're able to start getting your first parts in a couple of weeks, and then they can be delivered throughout the length of the project or more quickly if necessary. So printing gives you more flexibility, gives your long-term client the ability to get spare parts and get a workflow in place to make sure they always have spare parts. It allows you to design fully custom pieces rather than doing the kind of generic change the dimension of one arm kind of things that a lot of these large part suppliers do because they have to maintain their systems. And it allows you to do it more affordably so that there's more profit that you can put to the bottom line to work on future projects or develop your team out. So systems integrators who are building these large complex systems are able to take more control in-house, get faster parts, and are able to leverage 3D printing in a way that a lot of people don't really realize. Whether they need 100 parts or 100,000, printing is able to provide those parts. And if you design for it, it can be really good. So if you're a systems integrator, I do recommend, well, quite frankly, reaching out to us to see if the parts can be made for you. It could be anything from a roller to an electrical enclosure to a small bracket on the side of some 2020 aluminum extrusion. Those things can be made at scale and reliably with printing. They can even be made to replace aluminum parts with like carbon fiber nylon. All of that is doable and available, and it's not being utilized enough within these organizations to give you a competitive advantage to finish projects faster, finish projects cheaper, and create something that is more valuable to your end customer because they can get spare parts forever or get additional parts as they need them in a very reliable way that will continue to exist for many more years. Have a great day, everybody.